Hello guys, what is going on? FMU here and this is just a tutorial on how I make my kit graphics uh, that you've seen me popping up on Twitter and Facebook a lot lately. Quite a few people have messaged me and asked me how I do it. Uh, they've got the template but they're not sure how to do it. I'm not saying this is the perfect way or the best way but this is how I do it. So hopefully this helps you out. Uh, the download link for the kit pack or the kits I use is in the description down below just to warn you though it is a paid template you do have to pay for the template to download it so that's just a warning for you but i will pop the website that i got it from down below in the description there are loads of other templates including hats coach t-shirts or loads of stuff so you can have a little look around if it's something that you want to get into in the future then hey this could be the this could be the big break you're looking for kiddo so let's crack on with it so once you've got your template purchased, downloaded, and you've opened it up in Photoshop, the first thing I tend to do is remove the background first, okay? that I just do that just for personal preference. You don't need to, you don't have to. Uh, and then Control and Plus, for those who don't know, will zoom in and Control and Minus will zoom out. So the way I do things is, and this isn't the perfect way, not everybody will do it this way, but this is just the way I like to do it. So I've got all the parts, um, separately and stuff these are the main body parts you'll see the checkered sort of overlay there if you take it out there's what's underneath but i like to leave the checkered overlay on and duplicate these bits if needs be or work over these bits to keep it separate what you gotta remember is never save over the original <laughs> never save over it always keep the template because it's just the easiest way so the first thing we want to do is i want to work on both the body and the left arm not so much the right arm at the moment so i want to change the color so by double clicking on the layer body and clicking on color overlay you'll see it's kind of changed the color and we're going to do Tottenham today so we're going to make it white and i'm just going to copy the color id here by selecting it Control and c just so that we've got that exact same white on all the body parts and you'll see there it's got an effect and a color overlay so we'll do it for the left arm as well uh, i'm not going to be using that arm at the moment for the sort of design aspect of it but i just want to get that you know colored the right the same color as well so it all matches in okay so we've got the whole shirt now white okay what i want to do now is i want to add like a curved effect to it we're gonna have like a, you know they have that kind of really darky bluey color i don't know if it would be classed as a blue i don't know what you class it as but i kind of know the kind of color i'm talking about so we're going to add that onto the shirt so just purely for me because this is going to be one of the top layers i'm clicking on body just so that when i do this it will add it the layer above body Go to the pen tool and select that and i'm just going to come in around about here okay maybe about there and come up to say just on the, the top of the shoulder and it's drew a line in and then this is the difficult bit getting the curve in the right kind of way that i would like it come across like that maybe we'll go with that and then just to make sure that we cover because i want all of this area here to be the dark blue color so we're just going to do this and draw like a big blob area around it with plenty of room and then we'll right click on it and make selection and okay so you'll see it selected that bit out there then what i'm going to do next is you see how i've got body selected we're going to go down and create a new layer okay and that will create a layer above it now we're going to come into this the color selection click on the blurry area and we're going to come right down to here so we're going to go with this one uh 03014a is the one i'm going to go with go to the bucket fill and just click on there and you'll see it's covered it in now completely blowing you'll be like yeah but look at the background never fear and what we're going to do next is is hold control over this little area here you know this little black box with the shirt area cut out hold control you'll see as i toggle control on and off there's a finger there with no box on it now there's a box on it 
and then we'll hold that control button down click on the left mouse button and you'll see it's selected the shirt okay so it's cut just selected the shape of the shirt but we want to add this arm in so we'll keep control held down now hold the left hand shift button okay you'll see that box now will turn into a finger with a box with a plus in it and we want the right arm adding so we'll hold control and the left shift button and left click on the arm and you'll see it's now selected all of those then what we need to do is click on this one down here which is add layer mask click on that and it will cut it all down cut out all the bits that aren't in this little area and take it away so we've got that in there what I want to do now and this bit could be a bit annoying but I'm going to try it is I want to add another little curved stripe on here so we're going to come back down here to there okay and now we're going to come up to about there and do that and now that has worked perfectly I couldn't do that again if I tried that is spot on so we're going to do that and then we're going to come back into here okay and then we're going to come down to say there and then we're just going to try and match that up there kind of like that maybe I think that might be a little bit too much we'll just do that because it goes it's quite thick there but it goes quite thin down there that could work that could look pretty cool it could look like a pretty pretty cool feature so we're going to do the same again in the middle right click make selection okay and you'll see there it's selected it all and then we're just going to create a layer above the one we've just created so again create new layer and we're going to fill that again with the same blue okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to come back over here and we are going to with that layer selected you need to have the layer that you've just colored selected we're going to hold control down and click the body so it selects the body we're going to hold control and shift and we're actually going to select the left arm and the right arm this time because there's a little bit coming over onto the left arm and i want to see what it looks like with it on there okay so we've done that and then we can release the control and the shift and just again hit add layer to mask and there that goes in that looks okay it's not as perf it's not as perfect as it looks but i quite like it i did quite like that i'm pretty happy with that so we've got that in okay we've got that sort of sussed in and done now what we want to do next is we just want to maybe change the color of the collar a little bit because obviously it stands out just a little bit too much so we're going to control and plus to zoom in uh, just so we're in a decent enough position and then we can just close the smarts folder up a bit and open the parts and you'll see you can double click on the color and we've actually got the color over here selected for the shirt so we can come in and do that if we wish or if we wanted to make it white we can just click on the white and it'll make it white i kind of like the the white on there let's go with this let's put a little let's have a little look at it just zoom it out a bit oh by the way if you press control and zero it zooms back out all the way again just in case you didn't know that you can always download this shirt and then if you want to add a little bit on the bottom maybe a curve on the bottom or something you can go do it or something on the arm here or something i don't know it's up to you uh, depending on how you want to do it i mean let's have a look just real quickly at how this would look if we did the arm in a bluey colour come across like so up oh, and this is the left arm it is just checking so I just wanted to double check that uh, before I selected this make selection okay and then we can just colour that in control left arm make the mask and there you go that is there like that and yeah I kind of like that I think that looks okay it kind of 
adds a bit of color onto there. So we've got that in. Uh, you'll notice this bit of the shirt here is a different color. So what you can do is just come down to parts and you'll see shirt. Just double click on that and we can select that blue in there. Or if you want it to look a bit lighter on the inside, you can perhaps come in and just select a slightly lighter blue. But I'm not too fussed about that. So that is the basic premise of the shirt done. Next up, we need to add the sponsorship and the badge. So simple way to do such a thing is to open up Google or whatever your preferred search engine is. And if we put Tottenham logo PNG in and images, it will come up with all of these. So if you click on one, if it's got this checkered background, that means it's PNG, which means it's a completely transparent background. So you just right click on it and save it. We're just going to save it into this little folder here, which is where most of my stuff is saved at the moment. Click save. It'll pop it down onto the bottom of your browser. So we can just come in, grab that, drag it over and drop it in on here. Now I've dropped it a few layers behind, so we just need to make sure that we pull it forward. So let's do that first before we do anything else. We just need to make sure we pull it all the way up to here. So there it is. And then if you hit Control and T, this is where you can reshape it. So we don't need it to be massive. Maybe a bit bigger than that, I think. What's that look like? Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's have a look. Coming a bit closer so we can see the full size of the chest. That actually does pretty much. Work about right. You may feel it can be a bit bigger, I guess. But. come back a bit I think it needs to maybe come over just a little bit that way I think that's okay I think that's okay let's see what else if it comes down a bit I think that that's about okay I think that's about okay so I'm happy with that pretty happy with that one thing we could do if we really wanted to is we could have like a faded version of the logo on the shirt so we could just right click on this Duplicate the layer, okay, and then Control and T, and we'd make it much bigger, okay. And then we could kind of have it there, so it looks like it kind of curves around. Do this. Uh, let's try what twenty would look like. Twenty is quite. What is it? We could perhaps say have it on eighteen. Okay, and then hold control on there, select the body and add layer mask, pop and it cuts it off and it kind of make it look like it goes around the outside. And if you really want to, you can still change the opacity. So say if we came down to eight, that is an eight, that is a 12, that is a 10. So I could perhaps have it on like a 10 there. We'll leave it there for now and we'll see what it looks like once we've got the other stuff on. Okay, so I've just gone and done exactly the same as I did with the badge. Basically with the Under Armour logo, which is the kit maker. Just done a colour overlay, double clicked on it, colour overlay, made it white, resized it, and popped it into position. I think it looks okay, I think it looks alright. Um, if you look at the Tottenham shirt, it's around about the same sort of spacings and stuff, and the same sort of sizes, so it looks relatively decent. So next up, we just need to go and get their sponsor. So that was the Under Armour logo that I got there. And if you look at the, the shirt and stuff, it's kind of like a very similar sponsor. So next up, we need the AIA logo. So we're just going to pop in AIA logo PNG. And with things like this, the good thing is if you can't find a logo, if it's just type, in, type letters, then you can normally find it yourself. But as you can see, there's the AIA logo there. It is very easy to find. Very, very easy to find. This one isn't a PNG. So maybe is this one a PNG? They are PNGs, but you'd have to remove the background yourself. So that's not a problem. We can do that. So if we right click on it, save image, 
again save it into there and then just drag it down onto here and then we'll just get it sized up and if you're a bit unsure as to where the center is if you click on view oh we just need to okay that a minute click on view go down to new guide you see it's got vertical if you type in 50 percent it will slap a line smack bang in the vertical and then this will snap itself smack bang into the middle so what we need to do is close in <clears throat> and just to make it editable click on the eraser button and just click on the screen and click ok and that will make it editable so we're going to go up here now ok and we're going to where it's got click, uh, quick selection tool you may already have the magic wand selected I'm just going to hold down go to magic wand click on the A hold down shift click on the I keep shift held down and click on the A again and just refine the edge and sometimes you may want to do it with sort of feathered edging and stuff like that sometimes you don't need to uh, we're going to turn that off we don't want feathered edging on and just hit enter and there it is it's on the shirt okay we can if you want to lower the opacity or something but for me that's a okay or aia so that is how the shirt would look we've got the shirt done um and then if you if you're not bothered about doing the shorts and stuff then you don't need to worry about it but uh, i'll just quickly go through and do those now just with a bit of a speed thing using the same techniques that we've done on these and i'll just quickly get these done and uh, then we'll call it a video okay then guys so that is the finished kit that i've done i quite like it I'm, I'm fairly happy with it it's not the best in the world but i quite like it not bad at all so hopefully you found that helpful in a way it's not like the most in detail tutorial but it gives you the basics and shows you how to do it the, the best bit of advice i can give you if you get this is just to download it and start to really play with it and stuff and just see how you get on with it and take it from there Guys, hopefully you found this bit helpful. I'll just quickly show you next how to turn it into a, a shirt that you can pop into the game, and then we'll call it a video. So what I do is I need to uh, save as, don't save it. Remember, don't save over the one you've got. And I actually have a separate folder for my kits called Kits Made. There's my Everton ones, and those are my three Barcelona ones. I didn't do the shorts and stuff for those, but we'll just talk, call this simply Spurs Home. Nice, easy title for everybody to remember there. We'll pop that in there. Okay, that's nice. So I've got the big version of it saved if I ever want to use it for any kind of graphics and stuff like that. And that's that done, that's good. So what we can do now is we can close that down no we don't want to save over the original and then we can just go in open and there it is just double click on it to open it up and ta-da there it is so i'm going to go onto the quick selection tool and i'm going to go around the outside a bit like eminem trailer park girls and all that so we'll go around that was terrible i apologize just go around and select as much as you can before you have to zoom in a bit and then just zoom in and make sure you've got all the detail of the shirt really well selected because it's a PNG you can select 
like all the way outside of it and it doesn't really matter so we can select all the way down there as long as you don't select anything to do with the boots and the shorts you'll be okay and you just hit refine edge it'll take a while because it's a big file and that's fine don't worry about that just go up and just check you've got it all selected because sometimes it doesn't select parts of the badge or the sponsor and stuff you just need to make sure you've got it all done and hit ok and there you are you've got your shirt size so once you've got your shirt done you've got that there done dusted we need to change it what i did is i i have my my basic um sort of all of my other shirts saved in so i've recently done this barcelona one so we'll use this so we'll go to open recent and open this one but you can just get one of your you know your shirt pack shirts just open one of those up and we're going to come onto here we're going to hold this down with the left mouse and just pull it down so it comes off there select the movement tool and we're just going to move it over so basically you let hold left click on it put it across and drop it in here and we can close that down just select no i don't i don't need to save it you can if you want to but don't forget you need to save it to something else otherwise it'll save over your really big full kit design control and minus two come out and then control and t will enable you to change the size and then just hold shift hold down shift left shift and then do it from the corner and it keeps everything in proportion and then we can just come in just make it really small that could be about right uh control and plus just to come in like i said there are probably other ways of doing this that are much better than me showing what i'm showing you to move it around and stuff oh look at that look at that perfect size tick it and then it'll sort it out recalibrate it and then we can just delete the one that's behind the barcelona home and there we have it the shirt it is there it is ready to go in the game and what we'll do is file okay save as and then this is my kits folder so i want to go in the barclays premier league and you'll see it's got nothing showing that's because it's currently being saved as a photoshop psd just select from the drop down menu and we need png you'll see all the shirts here there's my two everton ones that i did so because we're doing the tottenham one i'm doing the tottenham home what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this tottenham home shirt and i'm just you don't have to do it this way but i'm just doing it for the sake of it uh i need to make these a bit smaller go medium sized where's tottenham tottenham where have they gone now uh, but, but where have you gone where are you tottingham there they are so just make a note of what it's called tottenham home i know it's tottenham and i'm just going to pop that into old kits okay so it's gone and then you see because i actually clicked on it it selected it and that is what we're going to save this as save okay so if i go back into my graphics folder go into my kits folder double click on tottenham and there it is the new kit a bit of alternative kit for us for tottenham so hopefully that has helped you out a little bit hopefully that's kind of answered questions people have been asking me how i do them and stuff and it's a little insight and if you do buy it and download it i hope you have loads of fun making the kits i tend to do i tend to have quite a bit of fun doing it and uh, yeah let me know tweet me some pictures if you make them let me know what you get on let me know how you get on and i will see you all another time remember if this has helped you out please remember to hit the like button bye bye, -bye.